muchachos, welcome here. Today's video, I thought it'd be really fun to do a meal prep video. I'm someone that really enjoys meal prepping, not for like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but having a certain amount and some key ingredients and in already prepped foods, that's going to make breakfast, lunch, and dinner that much easier. So I'm gonna show you guys basically what I do pretty much every single time I meal prep. I really just stick to these things. I really like my vegetables. I really like my smoothies. I'm really into quinoa and sweet potato recently. I'm also dairy free so I have to make everything pretty much from scratch if I want some really good dairy free like dressings and dips. So I'm gonna be showing you guys some of that in here as well. And I have a sweet tooth and I really do enjoy some sort of a sweet. So I have a mug brownie with sweet cashew cream as well as some chocolate nice cream for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this meal prep video. If you're new here be sure to subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is get some water boiling on the stove so I can boil some raw organic cashews. We're doing this because we're going to be making some cashew cream and I want my cashews nice and soft for blending them up. You can always soak these overnight in just regular temperature water but I find it quite easy to boil them. So you're going to let that simmer for at least 10 minutes and we're gonna start chopping some potatoes, which I love to do. So we have organic red potatoes as well as some sweet potatoes. I'm going to have them all nice and clean and then chop them up. I leave the peels on because there is so many good nutrients in the peel itself. It's also less work for me to do. And we're putting them all on the same tray and I like to do them in smaller cubes. And the reason why is because it's just easier to warm up later and also my kids partake in my meal prepping recipes and such, so smaller pieces are more ideal for those kiddos. We're gonna take some olive oil and drench these babies as well as whatever seasonings you like. I am intensely into garlic powder and will be for the rest of my life. Some sea salt, oregano, basil, you're going to mix that all up and roast it at 425 for at least 45 minutes if you want them to be really soft. So at this point, my cashews are very soft and I'm going to drain them out of that boiling water, rinse them with some cool water to get rid of any kind of bitter taste, let them sit there, really let the water come out, and it's time to cook some quinoa, which is pretty much little orbs of happy thoughts and yummy taste. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these on the stove with a little bit of broth, a little bit of sea salt, and I'm gonna let these cook for a very long time because I like me some soft quinoa. Next, I'm taking my Vitamix, I'm gonna put my cashews in, and I'm going to add a little bit of water. We're doing this while my quinoa is boiling. And I'm going to blend this until it has a thick cream consistency. You may need to add a little bit more water, but always start out with a small amount first and work your way up. Should look something like this, no lumps, no chunks. And I'm gonna separate mine into three bowls. This first bowl, we're going to make more of an herb creamy mustard dip cashew cream. So dill, tarragon, sea salt, garlic powder, lemon juice, and some Dijon. Mix this all up. There is no actual recipe here. Everything I make is by taste or by sight. I'm not a recipe teaspoon kind of person unless I'm full on baking. Um, so you've been warned. <laughs> um, I like to have a lot of fun in the kitchen. I am doing this one a little more spicy with some hot sauce, smoked paprika, sea salt, garlic powder, and some pepper. This one's really yummy. The next one I'm doing it sweet. I'm using some Madagascar vanilla, some maple syrup, and I'm gonna really stir that up. You can use regular vanilla, it's just Madagascar has a little bit more of a robust flavor. Adding a little more maple syrup, and this we're going to use on top of desserts and such. You can also put it on top of your oatmeal. Uh, which is really delicious as well. So our quinoa is all done cooking and I'm going to put this into a glass container. I really like my snapware containers. I kind of upgraded from my plastic Rubbermaid. These I just feel better about putting hot items into and feel better about warming it up in the microwave. 
Next, we're gonna warm up some olive oil in a pan. A lot of people think I'm vegan, I'm not. I eat a lot of vegan food, I guess. <laughs> and I go for a lot of vegan choices, but I do really enjoy ground turkey. So this is organic and it's really yummy. I'm just going to cook this up and I'm going to season it very simply with some sea salt and pepper. I like having this as extra protein and my husband really enjoys having this in um, the fridge for easy access. And again, we're just gonna put that into a glass container. Our potatoes are all roasted, so I'm gonna take some tongs and put them into a glass container again because we're meal prepping. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The potatoes are super soft, which is exactly how we like them. I'm gonna start chopping up some more vegetables. This is green onion, and it's easy to top on really whatever kind of savory dish that you like. It's really fresh. I love the taste of green onion. We're gonna go in with some green beans as well, and some zucchini. I put this in the same container because I usually cook them together, so it's just very easy for me to do. I really enjoy the combination of that bean with more of like that kind of zucchini cucumber light taste. It's really beautiful. I'm also going to take some red peppers because we need something for our dip to be dipped by and I really like red pepper and cucumber as well. I'm also a huge fan of mushrooms, so I had a bunch of mushrooms that I washed and chopped up and put into a container because these are great for stir fries. Also, I always have on hand a huge bag of frozen spinach. It's really affordable, it's easy to throw into pastas and smoothies and stir fries, and it's delicious. I also have these stasher bags of frozen bananas. These are great for nice cream. This is great for smoothies and also baking. So I always have those on hand and it's actually really important for me to have those for my meal prep. Next, we're making a brownie mug mix. This is vegan and really yummy. So it's three quarter cups of flour. I put mine in a jar. It's kind of messy, but it works well um, when you're actually using it three quarter cups of cocoa powder. I have a lot of unsweetened cocoa powder. And then three quarter cup of organic cane sugar. I'm going to do a teaspoon of baking powder and a little bit of sea salt. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on and I gotta shake, shake, shake this up so it's nice and mixed. And keeping it in a mason jar is really easy for when you're going to use it. But that is everything peeps. So I'm going to put the lids on, make them nice and safe and secure. And we're gonna put these in the fridge and I'm gonna show you guys how I use all this stuff, give you a little bit of inspiration. So with me being dairy free and heavily relying on bananas, I make myself nice cream a lot of the time. So it's not ice cream, it's nice cream. So it's just bananas to make it chocolate, kind of like a Wendy's Frosty. Some dark chocolate almond milk is really good. You can also just add cocoa powder if you like. You're going to blend that up and it is just creamy, delicious. I add coconut flakes and cacao nibs and of course I have that beautiful sweet cashew cream and a little bit of cinnamon on top and this is a beautiful summer treat for our mug brownie. I really don't <laughs> measure out too much. I'll put some scoops of the dry mixture in the bottom, add a little bit of milk so it's just kind of that thick creamy texture, some oil as well, just a little bit, and you're going to stir this up until it is fully mixed. You don't want any lumps or anything. Put it into your microwave. I do my first kind of sequence of time at 40 seconds. Give it a little bit of time and then you're gonna open it, look at it, it should be kind of bubbling and then you're gonna give it a little bit of a rest and put it in for about 20 more seconds. You don't want it to burn so it's good to have that interval of time. It's gonna look beautiful and bubbly and warm. Take some more of that cashew cream, dollop it on there. Is your mouth watering? Are you wanting this? Some dark chocolate chips, those are vegan as well. And man oh man, 
This is so good. It's really quick and easy. If you have people coming over all of a sudden and you want just a yummy treat for them, this is what you do and it's really, really fun. Also guys, that frozen banana and frozen spinach can easily be made into a delicious smoothie. This is your salad. Your salad that you drink through a straw. Add some protein powder and almond milk and blend this up. It's delicious, it's easy, and it's delicious. <laughs> My Vega protein powder and vanilla is what makes this so good and sweet. And it's a very easy snack to do. On the side, I will do some veggies. I usually do this for my kids, so I have more of that like warm, spicy-ish cashew dip that I mostly keep for myself. And then I also have that herb cashew dip that the kids really enjoy. You just see the texture of these are amazing. So I'll serve this um, with some vegetables. You can do some crackers as well. You can even spread these on a sandwich and it's delicious and beautiful and I eat this all the time. Next, we're going to turn on that stove and I'm gonna show you guys how I make my veggie bowls. So I do a little bit of olive oil, whatever kind of greens I have, usually that are going bad. <laughs> and I'm gonna take some vegetables. So I have that zucchini and green bean that are already chopped up. I have some mushrooms here and I'm going to add a little bit of that turkey as well and then stir this up really good. I like doing this because it's like whatever I have in my fridge or freezer that's kind of going bad, you can add it into here and it tastes really, really good. Kind of get to everything before it starts to expire, you know what I mean? We're also going to do some garlic powder, a lot of garlic powder. I also do a good amount of sea salt, that's like my go-to seasoning combo. Put it on a bed of warm quinoa, I just warm mine up in the microwave. And you can also do another kind of rendition of that. You do some frozen spinach, some mushroom, and zucchini. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that potato mix and warm this all up. There's so many different ways that you can kind of do a veggie bowl. Um, there's a lot of options that you can do because of everything that you've prepped and chopped up. So it's kind of whatever you're feeling that day. And it's really good. So again, I use garlic powder and sea salt on this, put it onto a bed of warm quinoa. How good does that sound? And we're going to make this dressing. So take a little bit of your cashew cream. I have the herb one here. You're going to take some broth and you're gonna whisk it to thin it out, water it down a little bit, but it still has such great flavor. Pour it over top and you can change it up. You can add different ingredients as you're whisking if you like. So I have the herb one, and then here is more of that kind of chipotle, paprika, cashew cream going on top of the potatoes. I'm adding some hard boiled egg to the one with the turkey and some green onion, a little bit of everything bagel seasoning, and then I'm gonna add more green onion to the potato one, smoked paprika and hot sauce, and this is just divine. I eat this all the time. Uh, and when I have people over, they love this. And my kids always eat this. It's really yummy, a great way to get your veggies in. And it really just takes a couple minutes to prepare. So it's perfect if you're a busy mama or just a busy person in general. And it's so good. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for being here. I always feel like when I watch meal prep videos, I have to eat something. So if you did that in this video, please leave me a comment down below. That kind of lets me know that this video worked, that I just made you guys want some food. Prepping is seriously so great and it's an easy way to stay healthy, to always just have food ready to go. Very convenient for me as a working mama, stay at home mama. Thank you for watching again and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.